You can see players of Stony Brook just skating by the official, letting them know they weren't too pleased. Flames now gathering at center ice to send a word up to God. Let's uh, take a look here at our Mabry Automotive Group play of the game. It's going to be the OT winner. Yeah, no doubt shootout. about it. Can't really, uh, can't really pick a better play than that. Owen Harris, the backhand. We talked about the decision to go to Owen Harris. Was it a good one, a bad one? Well, it turned out to be a heck of a good one there for the Flames. Silky smooth hands. He did a fantastic job of opening up the wickets and bearing five hole. Right now, as I said, Chris Garofalo chatting things over with the linesman and the head official. Huge night for them, you can see head coach of Stony Brook still chatting things over with the linesman. And you know what, here's the thing. He has every right to be upset right now. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Blake Scott, our hardy star of the game. An absolute fantastic performance by him throughout the game, but also especially in the shootout. Yeah, I was gonna say that, right? You know, you're gonna see the three penalty saves here, but what Blake Scott did for the rest of this, you know, for the majority of this game was do a great job and have a solid presence in the net for the Flames. And Blake Scott standing by currently with Monica McKenzie. Thanks, Rhett. All right, Blake, you just told me this is your first shootout ever in a Liberty jersey. It's actually the first shootout in this new rink. There wasn't one last season. So just talk about the battle and what it was like in this game. Uh, you know, our, my guys just didn't stop moving. That's what really made the difference this game is that we moved our feet the whole time. And they made a lot of big saves for me. It looked like I was there, but they were really there the whole time. And they made it a lot easier than it looks. So. These are two, two, two very evenly matched teams. Talk about what you guys need to do tomorrow to see success again. I think we just need to do what we are doing and just keep moving forward. I think what we're doing is we're we're getting a lot of chemistry down, and we just we need to we're putting our effort now and just keep rolling. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. There he skates off, and a hard earned victory for him tonight. He had to be key, and no stop bigger than that one on JT Hall in the shootout. So if he does things like that on a consistent basis from game to game, he's going to have a long, successful career with the Flames. We'll take a look here at that uh, controversial non-call, non-goal, you could say. It comes up right here, goes in, and that one's just going to sneak through. But the ref explained to head coach Garfalo that he called his whistle first. Unfortunately, we couldn't hear it in real time. But that was the call, and that's a tough one to take if you're Stony Brook. Yeah, and Stony Brook, though they lost this game, will come back, I think, with a vengeance tomorrow and play even better than they did tonight. But with the Flames pick up the victory, they've got the momentum heading into Saturday. Caleb, we'll send it down to you. Your expectations for tomorrow, obviously it's going to be a fantastic game again, but is there any adjustments you'd make on either side? I think if I'm Stony Brook, I say the second period was our best period. You got to make that happen again. Make sure you get in the passing lanes and slow down Liberty. And if I'm Liberty, I say, you know what? Let's cut out this, the slow spot we had in the middle. It's the same kind of thing. Let's get rid of the second period, play every period like we played the first and the third. If I'm Cork Handy, I go back to Blake Scott tomorrow, especially after the shootout. All the momentum's going their way. Once again, the Flames win in the shootout by a score of 3 to 2 for Caleb Fitzpatrick, Adam Fornwall, our producer. Abby Griffith, I'm Rabbi Gibbons saying good night and God bless from the Hay Ice.